All right, in today's video, I'm just going to go through some of the leftovers I have from the GPU mining days. Some of the stuff I bought, it's all boxed up. Some of the power supplies, motherboards, PCI, uh, GPU extenders, stuff like that. Yeah, so let's just go through it. Uh, in this box, obviously a bunch of the cables I'd run to the GPUs. These are some of the HP power supplies. Uh, it's this one HP. This one's light on. Same deal. Server. These are server power supplies. Basically, they are designed to slide into server cases. One U server cases. Boom. There's a little clip right there, the blue. And then you can put in a board onto the end of that. I think I have one of those here. Let's see. Here we go. This is one of the boards you could attach to the end of the power supply. Here's one right here. And you can just hook it right onto the end of there. These are not bad. These are a little noisy, but they're low profile and they do the trick for mining and uh, powering GPUs because you just put the board, plug all your cables into that right here. These little, these little puppies, eight pin. Now watch when you buy these cables. If you're doing GP mining or anything with these cables, make sure you go to a reputable, a quality shop. Don't just buy them off Amazon because Amazon, they some have been known to melt due to the high uh, use, the power, the wattage. Uh, you got to be careful with this stuff. You want to burn your house down. Again, these would all just plug into the here. Boom, 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 just like that. Yeah, and always you have to check your power usage. Uh, I don't know what this one was. I can't do that. It's always hard to find on these things what the heck the power supply rating was. This is a 750. Uh, yeah, 750. It's all a lot of Chinese stuff on here. Yeah, 750. What's the other one here as I drop stuff? Yeah, try not to drop components. This one... Well, I'm not seeing it on this one. Uh, it's rated, it's an 80 gold plus. Huh. Oh, well. It must be something. It worked. Light on. This one's HP. There's the board. This one's an hp -er as well. Uh, I'm looking for it. It's right in front of me. I just don't see it. Probably another 750 or more. 800, no? Oh, this might be, this is 1200. All right, HP 1200. For my, probably for my 3080 Ti's, the big puppies that, oh, they sucked a lot of watts, man. Those things sucked a lot of watts. PCIe extender splitter. So you put this into your motherboard right here. See that? Put, put this in your motherboard and then you could, you could do one to four. So on smaller motherboards, you could have up to six or plus GPUs hanging off a motherboard. And this card right here, this is an old ASRock PC gaming I built in 2014. This is my first rig, man. I, I had six 1660 Ti's off this puppy with a 750 power. Boom, making money off Ethermine. Worked just right out of the box. Do not be afraid to use old hardware. It worked just fine, motherboards and stuff. The um, For GP mining, the trick, the secret sauce is the uh, GPUs are doing all the power, all the computations. Uh, you just need the motherboard to facilitate the network and communications and stuff like that. All right. Oh, another big item here is a board. We're going to talk about that one. These are the uh, GPU risers, PCIe slots. You know, you brought the USB into there. You power it right there where my pinky is. Again, all that power can go into this, these breakout boards as I drop it this one's garbage anyway I'll show you why and then you would just pop your GPU in there it could be hanging from a custom rack you build or the ones people spent lots of money on these stupid GPU racks 200 500 bucks for a rack I just built mine out of one by twos you know I have an old old video about that yeah don't spend money where you don't have to if you can build a rack yourself just build it man you know you're not trying to impress anyone it just has to be functional function over form yeah, so there you go. I got a bunch of these. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I don't know if I can sell them. I really don't want to sell them on eBay because eBay will take a lot of money off the top with the, their freaking fees. So if you guys are looking into getting any of this stuff, let me know. The only bad item I have, I will not sell. Everything's in great shape. I got all this stuff. I can with one hand and now power supplies I'll put somewhere else all right power supply this is a beefy bastard right here EVG I got this used I think off the EVGA site thousand G plus or maybe eBay 80 plus gold this is a really quality power supply thousand if you guys are interested in this I got all the cables I got everything I never throw anything out I got the box in it if you guys are interested in that thousand puppy let me know, make me a decent offer, and uh, we could just do Venmo or something like that. Uh, I don't use PayPal, it's, they're corrupt, and you get scammed all the time. So let me know. Put in the comments below, and uh, if you're interested, yeah, we can do a just, yeah, series only. And I got, a, like I said, I got the original boxes. Look, boxes and boxes. I put boxes and boxes, even though it says pair. All the power supply boxes are back there. Yeah, this is everything. You got multiple. Perfs, perifs, CPUs, plugs, SATA, multiple VGAs, and of course your power supply for the motherboard, everything. And the cables are beefy too. Good power supply. I don't know what I would use this for because I'm using just CPU mining, which I don't, I don't need a 750. But it's overkill. But it's what I got. I'm not buying any new hardware. These are my motherboard boxes for the, my uh, 470, which is right here. Got, I really got on the 470 bandwagon, but I probably didn't need to. At the time, they were cheap. They are probably 60, 70 bucks. But yeah, now all you need is like a B550, I think ASRock, whatever, and you're good to go. It depends what you're doing. If you're GPU mining, CPU mining. This is one of my first video cards from 2014, MSI. It doesn't work in that it doesn't... It works in that you can run it and do an HDMI display out of it, VJ, but it doesn't work with resolution or anything. It's, it's baked, it's fried, but you can still plug it in and it thinks there's a GPU on it and you can put HDMI in it and get it, but you don't get any resolution. It doesn't recognize it. It's, it's half functional. So I just keep it around just to keep it. Oh, it's got the cables in there too. Yeah, it was a nice one for testing stuff, but again, it's not fully functional. This is good, everything else is good. Yeah, let's see. Except for that breakout board, it's burnt. This power supply is awesome. That was powering my big 38, 3080 Ti rig, which uh, was a power hog. All right, what else does what else does Crypto Jimmy got? Crypto Jimmy got my boxes. I got a cable. Oh, I got a huge power supply too. I got one of those 30 amp power strips. That was that was hard to get. Here are my GPU boxes. My switch box. I just learned to save every box. Here, your chip box. This is a uh, what is this? A socket AM4. Discrete graphics is required, meaning it's not built in. So you need a uh, a GPU on board if you want to display something. This is a Ryzen 9. Oh, this is the 3950. Okay, interesting. There's that. What is that? This one is at probably a 3900 box. 3900 that's what they come in because the the prism uh the prism what do you call it prism uh fan is pretty beefy here is a bunch of 1660s those things are good good little cards man 1660s for what they are low form factor low power usage uh, lower hash rate too of course but what are you gonna do yeah there's the old tower look at that i stripped all the sides off just to make airflow improve keep those things cool Plus, I had every cable coming out of there, too. I had PCI extenders coming out of there with a 1 to 4 splitter going to all the uh, 6 six plus, uh, probably 6. I think I had 6 of these guys right here, 1660s right here. Look how cute they are. Look at the little cute GPUs, the little workhorses. They're my babies. They did a good job. Here's one. Oh, I left the plastic on that one. Here's one of these 3D printed Oh, hobbies. Where did I get this from? Hobbyist Miner? Hobbyist Miner? Yeah, I think these broke after a while. These 3D printed, 
I think most of them, I bought maybe four of these and they would kind of break down here or something like that. So it wasn't worth spending the money. I think it cost me. He was, I don't know what he was selling them for. It was a good idea to mount them into a rack. It was one of those Baker racks. You clip them in and yeah, again, it's 3D printed plastic. It breaks. Uh, again, don't buy, what's, what's, what do I say? Don't need to spend your money on stuff like this. That comes out of your profits. It's overhead. You can just, what I ended up doing as I evolved into my mining journey <laughs> is I just put tie wraps on, zip ties, you know, boom. Zip ties, zip locks, you know those things? Like they're pennies, micro pennies. And they would just, you put them through uh, these holes right here and you just mount them to your racks, man. Piece of cake. No need to spend money on flashy items you don't need to spend your money on. Just trying to save you and be real and keep it, keep it, uh, keep it factual. Uh, what's that? That's a polisher. That's not a part of a GPU. Uh, what do we got? B550. That's downstairs. Oh, here's the thousand. Here's the BVC. I told you I keep the boxes. You guys never believe me. You guys just never believe Crypto Jimmy. You never believe me. There you go. Look at that thing. That thing is a monster. That can, that's a, that can power your house. Yeah. All right. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm going to drop all these boxes. See? Just told you. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, that's my Red Devil. I got one of those left. I'm making a mess. Well, I put the camera down. I'll fix all this. I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, these are my Intel. These are my Intel. Oh, there's some Ryzen's in there. Five, sixteen hundred, and five. Just the boxes. What's this? Oh, power cables. See, I even keep all the power supply cables. Those are the uh, Airs game ones. Oh, here's a seven hundred fifty. Let me stack my GPUs. 